Hello Taurus and thank you so much for clicking on this reading. This reading is going to be for September 2nd through September 15th and this is going to be for love just to see how your person is currently thinking or feeling or if there will be any messages coming in, any secrets being revealed. Just trying to read the overall energy of these next two weeks. Okay, so you could be dealing with two different people, one who is more logical and one who is more emotional. If not, and this is only one person, then that could just be their minds battling between their emotional and logical side. Feeling worried about making the wrong move. Having others disappointed in them. Wanting to take that leap of faith. This is someone who is determined, focused. They're wanting to make their move towards something. Let's see. They're feeling a bit defensive over it, over how they feel. They're questioning whether or not to make that move, make that leap of faith because of that defensiveness that they hold. And right now they're kind of just thinking about the option, thinking about making that decision, bringing in that abundance that wishful thinking. Because they see you as someone who deserves it. Someone who is independent. Someone who is able to give what they want. And they want to be... And they want to be your counterpart. Especially with that King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. They want to bring that stability to this connection. Be someone that you deserve. Because there's that passion, that chemistry between you two. And that's also a card of new beginnings. Them wanting a fresh start. But currently, there's this resting period happening. Someone who's being a bit stubborn, not wanting to move forward at this time. They're still thinking about making that move and making it pretty fast, so I do feel that it will be happening within these next two weeks. So they are hoping that you will be understanding and compassionate when something gets brought to light. When they offer their cup to you, their feelings to you. They're hoping that you won't shut them out. Even though I feel that they have shut you out, they don't want you to do the same to them. It's like they finally realized that they weren't being the person they should be with you. And now they are wanting to correct those mistakes and hoping you will give them that chance. Because they do feel those romantic feelings for you. And yeah, so this just confirms that separation that I mentioned. That you two may not be currently communicating or at least communicating on or at least communicating the way you both would like to communicate with each other so that is representing this connection 
stepping into something new, once they take off their mask and once something gets brought to light, their feelings. Their feelings for you and this connection. And they do want to come together with you again. This is a reunion. Things making a change for the better. Let go of any resentment or anger that you may have towards them. And also let go of any expectations that you have towards this connection. Because this connection may progress in a more unconventional way and it's best to just allow that to happen so you can bring in that abundance because I do feel that they will be taking action relatively soon. There's something better that will be happening within this connection if you allow yourself to be open, like I mentioned with let go. And let go can also represent some forgiveness that is needed because I was picking up that they have made mistakes in the past with this connection. And once you fully let go, you will start to see those big, happy changes. Now, I'm not picking that up for these two weeks. However, I do feel that during these two weeks, this process will be going along. It will be progressing. And I do uh, feel communication coming through them. Okay, and thank you so much for watching this reading. If you did stay to the end, I truly do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, night, whatever it is for you. Much love to you. Bye.